Recording in progress. Members, can you just pardon me for two minutes? It's just two minutes. It's two minutes. Thank you, members. Uh, I had to respond to the call of nature. Uh, Honorable Swart. Uh, uh, point of, point of you, before. Chair. Apology. Point of before. Sorry, Chair. I think someone wanted to raise a point. Was Jelly or no? Sorry, yeah. Chair. Uh, Shall I go ahead? Miss Jelly, what is the point of before? I, I was. I don't know if maybe it will be. Um, it will take your time. If we can uh, uh, just flag the names again, just flag those names, eight of them, just flag them and then we continue talking on the screen. If we still have them. Oh, yes, just flag them. Yes, flag them, Jay. Just okay. if possible. If it's not possible, it's fine, but just flag them. Committee oh. Secretary, can you flag them? Hey, Rocha, yes, I'm, I'm just trying to get to the document. Sorry, my apologies.
So, members, those are the names. Thank you, Chair. I would like to nominate Reverend Moses and Clow and Mr. Len Hubert. Those names, and then Chair, as the Deputy Advocate Andre Gong, but we'll get to that later. That's my nomination, Chair. I'm, I will be staying on the platform as much as I can, but I have to also be at the Public Enterprises Mini Plenary. Thank you, Chair. So we are nominating uh, number five and number three. Number five and number three. But, and then for Deputy Chair? Um, Advocate Gaul. Um, but you know that we, we, we need we only need one name for full time commission and one name as deputy chair. Uh, so we only are you only taking one name from this list then? It's, it's one name for full time chair and one name for deputy chair. Because there are only two vacancies. Okay, then I'll have to stick with the two names I gave you, which is um, Reverend Moses and Clow mm -hmm. as Deputy Chair and Mr. Len Hubert as Commissioner. Thank you very much. Um, other members? Hello, can I speak? My hand is up. Yes, Honorable Gretenbach. Thank you, uh, Mr. Chair. Uh, if we can only take, Frisco, please be quiet. If we can only take one list of this, one name of this list, then I propose um, number seven, Ms. Vendelanka. Vendelanka. Yeah. You only have one name. Sorry? You only have one name. Well, you said we can only take one name of this list. Okay. Um, no, you remember, Honorable Petenbach, we, we, we also invited currently seven commissioners yeah. to indicate they are, uh, whether they would want to be considered for the position of deputy chair. So okay. Yeah, I nominate a, a gown as well. Um, That's um, for the position on this. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much, Honorable Chele. Thank you, Chair. In this list, the person, my proposal is a uh, Fatima Chohan uh, on this one. Yes. And then on the that is that one is for the deputy chair, the person. And then on the full time commissioner, I, I think I'll opt for for Pindilen Tuli. I don't have to motivate Tene because we have already exhausted this one. Thank you. Okay, thank you very much. Um, Honorable Drachens. Honorable Verma. Yes, Chair. Sorry, uh, Wilma is just frozen, but um, I would like to propose Fatima Chohan for Deputy Chair, and let me just check. Um, sorry, I just need to get the spelling correct. Uh, Ntuli. Ntuli, okay. Yeah for full-time commission. Thank you very much. Honorable Msane. Thank you, Chair. Um, 
my proposal for the commissioner is uh, Ben Sibanyoni, and then for the deputy chair would be Ntla. Thank you. Deputy Chair is in club. Moses. Moses. Yes. Okay. Honorable Mola. Honorable Mwana. Honorable Chanchi. Honorable Mwana. Thanks, Chair. Uh, I, I would like to second uh, the names that... We can't hear you. Honorable Mola? Yes, sir. can you hear me now? Yes, we can hear you. Hear you now. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I would like to, to, to second the name of uh, Cho Han for deputy chair and, and to the for full time commissioner. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Janji. Uh, thank you, Chair. Uh, for the full-time commissioner, I'm in support of uh, Ndoli Pindile. And for the deputy chair and commissioner will be Fatima Chohan. Thank you. Thank you very much, Honorable Hon. Yes, thank you, Chair. I unfortunately weren't able to attend the, the interviews and therefore for this once I'll be led by the Honorable Breitenbach and I'll support her proposals. Thank you very much. Uh, members, I guess that you might not want to do the motivation um, um, should we do the motivation or should we just call it the highest number going down until uh, everyone is eliminated or do you want, would you want to have a discussion? Bearing in mind that uh, we still have to allow enough time for the subcommittee to, to meet. I think we should just go by the numbers, Chair. Let's go by the numbers. Thank you very much, Honorable Breitenbach. I support Supported by Honorable Jelly. Uh, committee secretaries, can you go through the numbers? Uh, we have got uh, oh, Ms. Chuan and Ms. Ntoli. We've got one, two, three, four, five. We've got six, uh, five uh, members who are saying Ms. Chuan should be appointed deputy and Ms. Ntoli for time. Commissioner. And then uh, for Mr. Mosenta, we have got two who are saying that uh, he should be appointed a full time commissioner. Uh, one of the two says that uh, he should be appointed deputy chairperson. And then uh, we also have uh, two. And we also have uh, one for Ms. Vedalanka, one for Mr. Juve, and then two for two who think that uh, Mr. Down should be appointed to the chairperson. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Mr. Ramano, so the vote would be uh, Fatima Chohan, five, as deputy chair, 
and Ms. Ndoli Five as full-time chair. Uh, that would eliminate the others, Mr. Moses Two, and Ms. Andrikam Two. Those will be eliminated. So the for the deputy chair we would have Fatima Chohan, and for the full-time chair we have Ms. Ndoli. Is that in Chair order? Chairperson. Um, Ms. Ndoli, it's not for the full-time chair, it's for the full-time commissioner. For the full-time commissioner, my apologies. Today, my mind is upside down, and my apologies. Thank you very much for the correction, Mr. Ramano. So uh, the deputy chair uh, would be Ms. Fatima Chohan, and the full-time commissioner would be Ms. Pili Ndoli. Thank you very much, members. Thank you for the guidance and for, for the support. Uh, can I now hand over to the deputy? To the Sorry, um, Steve, yeah, just to say, please excuse me. Um, I am attending the money plenary now and um, I appreciate the vote that took place, but I think when we get to the National Assembly, we might need to reserve our position as well. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very much. Um, just for the sake of procedure, Mr. Honorable Swart, uh, can you put your apology to the deputy chair, in fact, to the chair of the subcommittee, which will be constituted now? Uh, over, to, over to you, Honorable Janji. Thank you, Chair. Thank you very um, much. Welcome, welcome. Uh, um, Justice Cameron and your team, um, I'm going to not waste any time go straight and ask you to lead us and make a few remarks and then allow your team to make the presentation. Yeah, Thank you very me. much indeed. Sorry, um, Justice Cameron, my sincere apologies. I just need to note my apology. I'll try to stay on as long as possible. No disrespect to you, but I have to debate in another function. So please accept my apologies. Thank you. Thank you, Honourable Member Swart. We will proceed with the business and thank you, Chair of the Subcommittee. Uh, yeah, I don't know why he gives an apology to you. There's a chair here. He's just out of order. But co uh, continue, uh, Justice Cameron. <laughs> thank you, uh, uh, Mr. Chair. We do appreciate the courtesy. I'm going to ask our CEO, Mr. Missa, to introduce our Executive Committee member, Ms. Nklanzi, who is going to do the presentation. Thank you, Chair. Honorable Chair and honorable members, a very good morning. And also I'd like to take the opportunity of expressing Jig's uh, Happy Africa Day, which is one of the days on our calendar that we celebrate. Um, on behalf of the inspecting judge, the presentation today that we are going to present uh, to the portfolio committee uh, would be done by our head of legal services, Madam Ngema. Uh, so I would like to hand over uh, to Madam Ngema, if you allow me, uh, Honorable Chair. Thank you. Madam Ngema, um, are you on? Can I flight for you? Tembi, you need to unmute. Uh, thank you, IJ. Good morning to the Honorable Chair, uh, to the Honorable Members, uh, to the Inspecting Judge, CEO, and, and colleagues. Uh, my name is uh, Tembeli Shen Tanzingema, as the CEO has indicated. I'm going to be making a presentation in respect of the matter concerning an ICCV found smuggling cigarettes into the Correctional Center during the lockdown. As a way of a background, uh, Mr. Tulani Kwanyana was appointed as an independent uh, Correctional Center visitor on 21 November 2017. His contract expired on 20 November 2020. He was with JICS for a period of three years. And uh, prior to this incident, we, uh, made, we 
prior to this incident in question, Mr. Nguanyana is said to have had an, an impeccable service uh, track record. Uh, one inmate brought to the attention of uh, the senior manager at the Kruger Stock Correctional Center that an independent Correctional Center visitor of Jigs was smuggling contraband cigarettes into the Correctional Center. Consequent to that, the senior manager, accompanied by another Correctional Services official, conducted a search at the office of the ICCV, Mr. T.G. Nguanyana. Before the search could be conducted, Mr. Nguanyana uh, Mr. Guanyana disclosed six packets of cigarettes. At the time of the incident, the country was under the national lockdown alert level three in line with the Disaster Management Act. And sale of cigarettes was prohibited at the time when this incident occurred. As a result of the actions of the ICCV, he was charged with uh, three counts of misconduct one, failure to comply with or contravention of an act, regulation, or legal obligation. Second, being in, pos in possession of an illegal, unauthorized habit forming and or stupefying drug uh, or on the department, departmental premises, excuse me. And lastly, contravention of the Con Correctional Services Act. Pending the disciplinary inquiry process, uh, Mr. Nguanyana was temporarily transferred to JIC's Northern Management Regional Office, NMR, in Centurion, where he was only performing office administrative duties as he could not obviously not, uh, as he could obviously not conduct duties at the center where the incident occurred. During the disciplinary hearing, uh, which commenced and was finalized on the 3rd of November 2020, Mr. Nkwanyana elected not to be presented, to be represented by a union representative or a fellow employee during the, the, the disciplinary hearing. He pleaded guilty to all charges leveled against him. Uh, Mr. Nkwanyana tendered his resignation at the commencement of the disciplinary hearing and uh, the chairperson of the inquiry explained that the service termination and disciplinary hearing are two separate processes and that uh, he, as the chairperson, does not have any jurisdiction on the resignation process and therefore the disciplinary hearing should proceed. Mr. Nkwanyana did not con contest the testimony of the employer witness presented during the disciplinary hearing. Uh, witnesses from the Department of Correctional Services testified that the trust relationship between the department and the ICCV had irretrievable broken down. Uh, Mr. Kwanyana was accordingly found guilty of misconduct by the appointed chairperson. As a mitigating factor, Mr. Nkwanyana submitted, submitted that he has shown remorse and that he will not repeat the transgression. The ICCB further submitted that should, he should not be dismissed from employment uh, and indicated that his employment contract with JICS will expire on 20 November 2020. The chairperson of, of the disciplinary hearing took cognizance of the remorse shown by Mr. Nguanyana and recommended that although Mr. Nguanyana is dismissed, he should be allowed to continue to serve the remainder of his employment contract which was 13 days at the time. Uh, and we'll, we'll, he was going to continue uh, working in the NMR office. The above recommendation and sanction were accepted by the delegated authority and the ICCV services were terminated with effect from 20 November, 2020, which also was the date where, when uh, his uh, contract was supposed to to expire. That is all that I have. I thank you. Mr. Chair, Honorable Mr. Chair, uh, Ms. Nklanzi and Gema, Mr. Missa and uh, myself and other members of JICS executive present here are available to you and your members. Thank you, Justice Cameron. 
and your team, uh, very straightforward, precise presentation and very pointed. And um, thank you for that. Uh, can I invite members to comment? Are there any hands to respond? I see. I see Honorable Nevold. Who else? Nobody else. Uh, let's hear Honorable Nevold. Thank you, Chairperson. And good morning to the Honourable Judge or Honourable Justice and your team. Thank you for the presentation. I the, sorry, the the what does an ICCV really do? What is their role? And at the same time, I also want to know from these things that has happened. Um, the ICCV, um, what training do they receive prior to doing their duties? What kind of training do they get to keep up the high standard and expectations of JIGS? Um, do they get ethical training, uh, moral and values of, of, of JIGS? Um, um, so, can you maybe explain that to us, please? Okay, thank you, Honorable Velma. Any other clarity, contribution, or comment, colleagues? Don't tell me that you want to have a very short meeting today. I want sorry, to. Sorry, Chair. Sorry, Chair. Can the Secretary just uh, replace the pins, please? I can't see. I can't see the interpreter. Can you now see the interpreter? Yes, Chair, thanks. You see yourself, okay. Uh, any other comment? None? Don't believe this. Um, Justice and your team? Thank you kindly, Mr. Chair, and thank you very much to Ms. Neuhout uh, Drichen for her question. Uh, I'm going to ask our CEO, Mr. Misser, to supplement, but what I would like to do is to take the opportunity to say that we have some 220 ICCVs, uh, and this is supposedly one for every correctional center. The importance of the ICCVs is that they are like a nervous system. Uh, the ICCVs are in the prisons mostly every day, at least a few times a week. They know the correctional personnel, they know the, uh, the, the, the incarcerated persons, they can warn us if there are incidents of violence or uh, trouble impending. Uh, and uh, uh, Mr. Chair, I hope you will allow me just to make a brief advocacy point here. Uh, we are in, in earnest discussions with the minister uh, and with the National Commissioner Fraser about a proposed budget cut of 7 million to JICS's uh, very modest budget. And that will hurt us mostly in, in relation to the ICCVs. Uh, we do not have a big personnel budget, but most of it is spent on keeping the ICCVs in place. We do train them. We had a, a significant training session carefully planned and set up for last year, April, which of course, like so much of history over the last 14 months was destroyed. And they certainly do get uh, training on ethics, uh, honorable member, uh, the last time uh, I've, I visited ICCVs was at Mikado about six weeks ago. I think I did mention it in our previous presentation. Uh, I, I met the, the, the area and regional commissioner and the ICCVs, uh, and we hope to resume the level of training. Uh, thank you very much. I'm going to ask uh, both our CEO and Ms. Nklanzi and Gema if they wish to add. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Judge. Um, honorable Chairperson and Honorable Members, uh, maybe uh, firstly to deal with the uh, specifics on, on uh, Honorable Members Nevo's uh, question um, and a little bit background. Um, the ICCV program emanates from the Correctional Services Act. Um, they are enshrined in, in there, uh, where previously they were appointed on 
what we would call as a contract contract employee or a service provider to jigs. So they were not aligned to what we would call the public service. So during my during my uh, office, uh, when I assumed duty, we, uh, we canvassed this with the Department of Public Service and Administration, and then we decided to align the entire program to what we would call the new public management and align it to the public service. So since 1 April 2019, all ICCVs have been migrated from what we would call an old system to what we would call the new public management. Now, this is a little bit of background on it. So the, the current uh, presentation to you on this specific ICCV was still on the old system, and he was actually working out what we would call the old contractual obligation to Jigs at that time. So that's what placed him in that position. Uh, 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 beyond that, uh, all ICCVs are trained extensively. There is a curriculum that is developed with experts on subject matters. Uh, there are 10 modules in this curriculum uh, that is um, presented to them on a week's training program, which is called an induction and orientation program, which um, they are taken by the hand into a center, introduced to the respective officials of DCS, acquainting them with the surroundings of that environment and making them acquainted with that environment. Beyond that, expert subject matters, such as uh, mandatory reporting, um, the use of force, um, dealing with the deaths in centers. These are all curriculums within the, uh, within the program of uh, training of ICCVs. We can make this available to you, uh, Mr. Chair, uh, Honorable Chair and uh, Honorable Nearvold, so that you could have a look at the curriculum. Beyond that, in there, there are also issues of ethics, uh, there are issues of HR-related uh, disciplinary issues, and all conforms to the new public service. So this is what we've done as JIGS in re-engineering this program and bringing this program in line with what we would call the public, the new public service think. Um, this is what I have uh, in respect of uh, Honorable Nearworld's uh, uh, question. Thank you, IJ. Thank you, Honorable Chair. I'm not sure if Madam Ingema would like to add. Thank you. Uh, thank you, CEO and Chair. I've got nothing to add. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, CEO and Justice. Uh, for, for that uh, crisp uh, response uh, on the issues. Um, I did invite more names, there's no additional names. I'm not sure whether that says you're doing a very good job or, or, or the members want to go and prepare for their speeches. We're debating this afternoon, but uh, we know that you, you, you're passionate about your work, uh, under-resourced as always, but you do your best. Um, should I take that? Uh, that's uh, the end of our meetings, colleagues. Mr. Fester, you want to want, uh, have a, a final word before I give to the judge? Thank you, Honorable Chair. Uh, before the IJ comes in, maybe just let me take uh, uh, the thunder away from him uh, to announce that we have uh, a webinar coming up uh, in the latter part of this week, uh, which is the 27th and 28th. It's an, actually a uh, the use of force, uh, li aligning it to the UN protocols. And also it's an international platform bringing in the Southern nations also to discuss uh, the use of force in our correctional environments. Uh, we have made the links available to the Secretariat. Um, I humbly request Honorable Chair, if um, Honorable Members do have space in their diaries, uh, they are most welcome to join us on this two days uh, session. Thank you very much, Judge. Thank you very much, Mr. Chair. Thank you very much, Mr. Missa. I should say that the seminar is two hours on each of two days from 12 noon until 2 p.m. on Thursday and the same on Friday. But with that, uh, Mr. Chair uh, of the subcommittee and honorable members, we thank you for this opportunity and thank you for your uh, courteous hearing to us. Thank you, Justice Cameron, always for, for your... Uh, um, candidness and uh, passion to drive uh, this impo important work. Uh, thank you very much to you and your team. Colleagues, uh, that was uh, the shortest meeting. 
uh, where is the subcommittee? Uh, thank you very much. Uh, um, let me not uh, hold you any longer so that you can go and polish your own speeches. The meeting is adjourned, colleagues. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Honorable Chair. Thank you, Honorable Members. Bye bye. Recording stopped.